The Catholic Archdiocese of St. Paul and Minneapolis, Minnesota is having a little bit of a problem, which is that Archbishop John Nienstedt, who is well known for his anti-gay statements and his statements against marriage equality, same-sex marriage, etc., is now being accused of so-called same-sex misconduct. The Catholic leader is under investigation by a law firm that has been hired by the Archdiocese based on, quote, multiple allegations that Nienstedt had relations with multiple men including priests and seminarians. He authorized the investigation himself, but denies that the allegations are true. The former, the archdiocese former canon lawyer, Jennifer ha Haselberger, said, I believe that the investigators have received about 10 sworn statements alleging sexual impropriety on the part of the archbishop dating from his time as a priest in the archdiocese in Detroit, as Bishop of New Ulm, and while coadjutor and Archbishop of St. Paul and Minneapolis. What's more, he also stands accused of retaliating against those who refused his advances and otherwise questioned his conduct. This is the, the key part. Listen to what Nienstedt himself said. I have never engaged in sexual misconduct and certainly have not made any sexual advances towards anyone. The allegations do not involve minors or lay members of the faithful, and they do not implicate any kind of illegal or criminal behavior. This is so key because he's not denying that he's a gay guy and he has made a career out of being a Catholic anti-gay activist. Who knows how many people he's told need to not be gay or, or they will go to hell. And he himself, according to 10 sworn statements, while he denies that he did anything inappropriate, is not denying that he is just a gay man who is involved in gay relationships. This is so damaging. This is just absolutely ridiculous. And ha the idea that you can be a person of God when you tell a mother to reject her gay son while you're having sex with men and allegedly punishing the ones who refuse to have sex with you. How can you call yourself a person of God, a man of God? I think it's clear, David. I think it's all it's all a sham. It's all a joke. I mean, none of it is real. Um, and the ones who do think it's real, are, I, I feel bad for them because they're they're just misled. Uh, what else can I say about it?